Hi everyone, it's Allison from Fronatiska, and today we are continuing our coloring journey through the solar system. We have done the Sun and Mercury, Venus and Earth, and now we are on our way to the fourth planet from the Sun, which is Mars. Now, you may have seen Mars in the night sky. Like Venus, it's fairly easy to see without the aid of a telescope. You just need to know where to look for it. If you have binoculars, you can probably even make out its, its color fairly clearly. But Mars is unique because it is actually this very striking color red. And that color red is where it actually got its name Mars. It was named after the god of war because it is colored red there. And that red color actually comes from uh, iron oxide, which is basically rust that's just all over the surface of it. It's, it's got a lot of iron in its makeup there. And over time, that iron has just rusted all over the entire planet. So you would definitely want to have a tetanus shot if you ever get to visit Mars. Now, Along with that iron oxide, with the iron, it's got lots of carbon dioxide, lots of argon, lots of nitrogen, so humans cannot breathe there. We need to bring our own oxygen with us when we go to visit Mars. It is 1.5 astronomical units away from the sun, so 93 million times 1.5 tells you how far away it is from the sun there one day on Mars, one time for it to go from day to night, one time, or to, to rotate is 24.6 hours. It's about one half the size of Earth, so a good deal smaller than it. Let me see there. And while it, it has a day that's about the same time as Earth's day, its year is a lot different from Earth's year. One orbit around the sun for a year for Mars, ooh, excuse my bad circle there, is actually 687 Earth days. So a lot longer than a year for us here on Earth. And it's tilted over to the side about 25 degrees. So while it does take a lot longer to go around the sun, the seasons should be about the same on surface of Mars. However, the atmosphere, because it is so very different, the temperatures are a lot more extreme on the surface. It's a very, very thin atmosphere, and astronomers at NASA have said that you could stand on the surface of Mars and it would feel like spring at your feet, but the atmosphere is so thin, the heat escapes so quickly that it would feel like winter up at your head. So you'd have nice toasty feet, but your head would be cold just because the air gets so thin and cools off so very, very quickly. The temperatures range anywhere from 70 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 200. So very, very cold there on the surface of Mars. Mars is also home to one of the, or actually the biggest volcano that astronomers have ever found. It's called Olympus Mons, and it has two moons, Deimos, or Deimos, depending on how you pronounce it, and Phobos. So, and I don't think that they orbit exactly opposite from each other, but that's okay, because we're just coloring for fun. So there we go. Two little moons there orbiting around Mars, the fourth planet from the sun. Now, if you have any questions about Mars, please feel free to leave them in the comment section of this video. Thank you so much for your time, for coloring along with me, and stick around for the next one. Thanks. Bye.